Guys, snowmobile season's over as much as I hate to say it, but you know what? Boy, you know, I gotta love the spring and the summer and having some fun and it's ATV season, UTV season, and it's time Power Mods buys a UTV. Now I've been looking at Rangers and Razors, but looking online and checking out videos is one thing. You gotta get out and try these things out. So I'm at Black's Corners Power Sports. The man Steve is here with us today. He's gonna tell us a little bit about these machines that we're gonna be test driving. And of course, it's gotta be the 900s because they have a lot of power and that's what we want. So one missing there, that's our ride. So let's go around the corner, we'll take a look at them. Okay, so we've got both the 900 models. This is just the base model 900 RZR. Yeah. And we've got the 900 EFI Ranger, which is the, the larger one. I, you know, one's obviously a little bit more utilitarian. Definitely. And one's a little bit more of a, of a play machine. Yeah, your Razor is uh, pure attitude where the Ranger is pure work. We have a lot of attitude with it also. Yeah. I, uh, some have said that I have attitude and that I don't like to work. Well, <laughs> you, you'll like the Razor, <laughs> but well, it'll, make you, it'll make you work. <laughs> yeah. now, now this one here, this is the base model. It doesn't have power steering. Nope, uh, but, what it, it, but it has the Fox shocks. Um, the 900 comes a lot of different ways also with or without power steering. Does this one have power steering? Nope, that one doesn't have power steering either. Uh, now, they're both 900s, but there is a power difference. Totally different. So, uh, your Razor 900 is running 88 horsepower, where your Ranger is around the 60 horsepower. It's more of a torque monster yeah, yeah. than it is a, a powerhouse. Well, what are they talking for a load? About a half ton load in the back? Or, oh, yeah. 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds. That's yeah. pretty nutty. And what about pulling-wise? Ton. A ton. Rated at a ton. What, what does that machine weigh, do you, do you recall? Oh, 12, 1,400 pounds. Okay, that's about the same. That's yeah, about they're the not same. a whole lot of difference in the weight. Yeah. yeah. But the RZR has uh, more clearance. Long, longer travel suspension, wider footprint. Your full-size Ranger runs a 60-inch wheelbase, where your RZRs uh, on your 900s, you're about 64. On your 800s, you're about 61. Oh, is that right, eh? Yeah. All right. Now, if I were to gas this thing up all over the throttle, playing just like anybody else would do, yeah. how long would I get out of a tank of gas in it? I'm hearing guys saying well over the 100 miles. Yeah, they're good on gas. And what it must be the same yeah, for. It's gotta be the same. We never hear we never hear complaints on the full size. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Now, as far as accoutrement or attachments go for these units, there's probably a full lineup oh, of you know, cab it's systems. On, it's unlimited. Just unlimited. Yeah. Soft cabs, hard cabs. Now, tell me about this. You know, I've been out of four wheelers and ATVs for years now. Uh, things have changed a lot. Yeah. Back from the Suzuki King Quad days. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, with the locking diffs yeah. and all that. Now these have, both of these can go in two-wheel drive? Both run two-wheel drive. The biggest difference is <clears throat> when you go to your Ranger models, they all have turf mode. So you can actually unlock your back differential. So when you're in soft areas, working around the house, working on the yard, you can unlock the differential, it leaves no tracks. Where your Razors, the only Razors that you can get with uh, turf mode is the new 570 Trail Edition. It has turf. And then the, and then the four wheel drive mode, it's all it's typical players all on demand four wheel drives. So whenever it, whenever it needs it, it locks it up. Yeah, yeah. Push the button on the dash, and you're good to go. Right on. Yeah. Well, on that note, I think I'm good to go. There you go. So comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Like honest to God, yeah. it doesn't beat your arms up or like even it's no power steering. It's yeah. it's good. Holy smokes! It just soaks up the bumps. Oh yeah. Well, that was a great little test ride. Pretty rough little area through here. The boys get to play in this uh, this rough terrain quite often. You know, I it's it's the dealer's machine. It's not like I can take this thing out and dump it in. 10 feet of water and play in the mud you know I can't be too hard on it but soaks up the bumps no problem even with the non-electric steering or the non-power steering you know what I don't even notice it lots of power you know what I like this machine I'm gonna try with that Ranger see how that works I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a completely different feel but who knows let's try it out
Well, you know what? You really can't discount this Ranger. It's got all kinds of power. You know, it's a little tighter area in here. It is quite wide on the trails, but you know, it's just about the same as the Razor. You do sit differently in it. It's more of a pickup style. If you remember the older style, earlier 70s or 80s, uh, pickups kind of, you know, you're sitting straight up and down. But uh, actually, I find it quite comfortable for a taller guy like myself. We haven't really had a chance to try it out in its utility format with the larger box and the pulling capacity, but you know what? That's not really important right now. I just wanted to get a feel for this, and thanks to Steve for letting us come out and actually trying this. Now, all we really have to do now is just go back to the dealership. I'm gonna have a chat with them, maybe throw some numbers around, see what he can do for us, and I get to open up that Razor a little bit on the road on the way back. Let's go have some fun. I've done this kind of thing before. I've purchased snowmobiles and I've had ATVs and I've purchased them at places with small little showrooms. And where I made the mistake was they didn't have an inventory of parts. They didn't have the knowledgeable people on hand. And when you do buy something like this, it's a large investment. You got to make sure you have the support on the other end when you need it. That's what these guys have. You got to see the size of this shop. Their inventory is wicked. What happened to all their heads? <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> yeah, inventory here, not an issue. If you need something, they have it. I just like cars. These things come in different packages. This one here is all dressed up. It's got the nice sticker package on it. Power steering, pretty tricked out. Pretty nice looking unit. All kinds of options are available for the Ranger as well as the Razor. This is something that I really like as well. This complete cab enclosure glass windshield you can get wipers for them nice solid doors you know if you want to plow snow in the winter throw the tracks on it go up to the camp that's a pretty sweet system to have when it comes to the razor look I'm going back and forth all the time right when it comes to the razor there's a myriad of different options for it brush bars bulb bars winches extra roll cages lighting enclosures as well all kinds of things you can do led headlight kits it's just non-stop snorkel kit which i really like for both ranger razor ranger razor now this is a pretty tough decision i have to make here Yes, some parts we get at the Power Mods headquarters are given to us so we can install them and make a video and whatnot. But I can guarantee you, nothing here today is being given to us. These are expensive. I have to make up my mind which one I'm gonna buy. The RZR comes in 1,500, maybe $2,000 more than the Ranger is. So I have to juggle things. Steve Barbary, I gotta thank you very much for having us here today. Not a problem. Uh, oh, we had lots of fun. Oh, we did, yeah, well, hey man, we're driving these things. Yeah. What could be more fun than that? Now the real decision comes down. Like, I mean, this is a lot of money, right? You know, $4,000 for that one, $3,000 for this one over yeah. here. <laughs> you got to have to sharpen your pencil. Yeah. Right? You know, Power Mods, we don't make a whole lot of money doing go, this kind eh? of thing. But yeah. I got to thank you. We're going to have to go inside and talk numbers. Yeah. Uh, really enjoyed your facility here. It Good. looks like you've got a very complete shop. All kinds of rigs in the back. Anybody yeah. needs something, you can definitely get it out of here. Definitely. So thanks very much and number time. Okay. Later. Don't get me started on bikes. I'm too old for this. Broken enough bones as it is. It would be fun though. And I have to thank you for coming back as usual. I really appreciate when you guys show up. Stay tuned for more videos. See which one we buy. Thanks for watching.